thank you very much for your kind introduction. First of all, I would like to, to thank the organizer for inviting me and giving me this opportunity to give uh, this talk. Uh, special thanks to Carmen and uh, Jose. So I'm going to tell you about uh, this elasticity and aggregation of carbon nanotube in semi-dilute suspension. So the first question would be uh, why one more uh, talk about the rheology or viscoelasticity of uh, nanotube because you have a lot of work in the literature, in the literature about uh, this subject. But here I'm going to, to focus uh, the viscoelasticity study to a particular case which is a semi-dilute uh, suspension. So this work was done in cooperation with the group of uh, Philippe Dubois in Belgium and uh, our group uh, in Lyon, at the University of Lyon. But today, uh, Philippe Dubois is my competitor because uh, he's speaking in room uh, uh, 9. So, uh, thank you for staying here. Uh, so, uh, uh, the objective of this study was uh, to investigate the, the linear viscosity, viscosity of uh, dilute suspension of multi-world nanotube uh, spread in uh, liquid uh, PDMS. Uh, why uh, PDMS? Well, for different reasons, but uh, for the rheology reasons, uh, PDMS, you can do the experiment at room temperature. It's a st uh, stable polymer with a temperature because I'm going to show you that uh, some experiment uh, lasts about uh, 100 hours. So to do this experiment, we need a uh, stable polymer. So I'm going to, to explain in few words uh, the Doyle-Edward theory. Uh, this theory uh, was developed uh, 25 years ago by uh, doyle Edwards on the uh, viscoelasticity of uh, suspension of uh, nano rods. It's not nanotube, but I'm going to, to extend this theory to the case of uh, nanotube. And uh, the experimental part, we have developed a combined technique, rheology and electrical conductivity, in order to, to have uh, more information about uh, the <coughs> nanostructuration of uh, nanotubes in uh, the liquid PDMS. And uh, I will focus, of, of course, in, on the phenomenon of uh, aggregation and uh, breakup of uh, NTC in this uh, suspension. A uh, few words uh, and the main feature of the, the Doyle-Edouard uh, theory. So this, <coughs> they have defined the different regime of concentration of the suspension. The first one is the dilute regime. Well, in this regime, the nano-rods nano can freely rotate it without any contact. And, uh, you have a, a brunion uh, motion of this nanotube. If you increase the concentration, you will have the transition between the dilute and the semi-dilute regime. And in this uh, concentration, uh, you have some contacts between nanotubes, so the rotary diffusion uh, will be slowed down to, due to this contact between the nanotubes. And, uh, of course, you have different uh, regimes, the isotropic concentration regime, the biphasic regime, and the liquid uh, crystal regime. So I'm going to, to focus uh, my talk uh, in this transition, uh, just above the transition between the EU to the semi dilute regime. So, few equations. The transition here between dilute and semi dilute is defined by uh, this equation, nu is the number of mole molecule per unit volume of solution, and beta is a theoretical uh, parameter, is close to uh, 30. And uh, you can calculate, of course, the rotary diffusion in dilute suspension and the rotary diffusion of uh, nanotube in uh, semi dilute uh, regime. And from uh, this coefficient of diffusion, we can predict the variation of the zero shear viscosity, the zero shear viscosity proportional to the cube of the concentration 
and the relaxation time of the Brownian motion of nanotube, which is proportional to the square of the, the concentration. What about the material that we have used for this system? Uh, PDMS with a molecular weight about uh, 30,000 grams per mole. So we are close here to the critical molecular weight for the viscosity. Uh, the nanotube were provided from uh, nano seed, and uh, these nanotubes have no surface treatment. And the most important parameter for this study is uh, the aspect ratio. The aspect ratio is about uh, 150. It's not uh, a strong aspect ratio. It's quite low for uh, nanotubes. And the uh, different uh, preparation from uh, 0.1 to 0.5. Uh, from the equation, for example, the 0.1 is uh, critical concentration between the dilute and the semi-dilute uh, semi uh, region. The rheology we perform in a rest rheometer uh, uh, in the domain of this frequency width at, at uh, room temperature, of course, in order to avoid uh, any uh, side reaction. So, the first result is about uh, the, the viscoelasticity of the, this suspension. So, there is uh, important uh, data in this slide. First, the rest time. The rest time is about uh, 48 uh, hours. And the frequency here is from uh, 0 0.001 to uh, 1000. So, this kind of uh, experiment takes about uh, six, eight hours. So you need about uh, more than uh, 60 hours to do the experiment. So fortunately, you, don't, you are not obliged to be in, the, in front of the rheometer. So you can uh, put the sample on Friday, and uh, on Monday, you have uh, the result. OK? And uh, what is uh, the result, you see, here? So this is the viscous TV uh, behavior of the, of the matrix, and you can observe a strong variation of the viscous property with only 0.2% of uh, nanotube. And you have here the, the second relaxation zone with the second uh, plateau modulus, and with we can calculate from this value here, we can calculate the zero shear viscosity plateau modulus and the, the relaxation time. So from this curve, you can also say that the nanotube, uh, nanotube network, of course you have a network of nanotube because here you have uh, this uh, uh, plateau modulus is connected to, to this uh, network. It's composed of three little associating rows. So we have a Brunian uh, entity of this uh, nanotube. What about uh, the variation of the zero shear viscosity and the uh, relaxation time? But you observe that uh, uh, the viscosity, the zero shear viscosity increase of, uh, obviously with the concentration. And here is the uh, prediction of the doyle dua theory. This is a slope of uh, three. And you can observe that uh, above uh, 0.15, a strong deviation of the theory, okay? And uh, we have, uh, you have the, the same thing uh, for this, uh, for the reaction time. And from the, the size of the tube and the aspect ratio, uh, we can calculate the rotary uh, diffusion, and from the rotary diffusion, we can calculate the, uh, the factor A, which is in this question, and the decrease of this uh, factor means that the rotary diffusion of the nanotube is much more slow down with the concentration as theoretically expected. What means